Hey church, great to be with you today. My name is Emily Foster, I'm one of the pastors here at church and I've got an incredible verse that I want to encourage you with today. It's one of the, It's got one line, it's just one line, but it's incredibly powerful. It's one of those verses that I think we probably, most of us will know, we quote it and it's one of those things where we know it here, but we don't know it here. And I'm believing that as you let this verse just sink deep into your spirit, that it's going to transform your thinking, it's going to change your declaration, and it's going to have an incredible impact on your day. Okay, the verse today that I want to encourage you with is this. It's Colossians 1 verse 17, and it says this. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Incredible. I love it. God is before all things. He has gone before Before we kind of go into anything else, let me just establish what all things means. It says he is before all things. All things means all things. Not some things, not some times, not some people, not some situations. All things. God is before all things. He's gone before us. Today you need to know that God has gone before you. He's gone ahead of you. He's gone first. Today, God has made a path for you. He's maybe torn down some obstacles. He's overcome some barriers. He's maybe fought some battles on our behalf. And right now, it's incredible to think that God is working out solutions to problems that we don't even know we've got yet. He knows what issues we're going to face. He knows what challenges we're going to face. And he knows what it is that we need in us. So he's already equipping us. He's empowering us for everything that we need today. And I want you to know that because God's gone before you today, he knows exactly the amount of grace that you need today. Today, God is giving you your portion of grace that is going to suit the day that he knows that you're going to have. So I want to encourage you that you don't need to fear today, you don't need to worry about today, you don't need to um, play out today in your mind. I know so many of us do that maybe the night before. We just need to know that God's gone first, that he's gone before us and he's simply saying, come on, come and join me in today. I'm right here, I've gone before you, I'm going to be with you. So I want you to be encouraged today with that truth. God has gone before you. And that's just the first half of the verse. The second half says that in him, all things hold together. I love this. I love the fact that he is holding everything together. You need to know today that God holds you and your world in the palm of his hand. That in him, you are safe, you're secure, that God's got you. God has got you. Let that sink into your spirit that God has got you. So if you feel like maybe your world's falling apart, Maybe you're spinning so many different plates. Maybe it feels like you're dropping the ball left, right, and center. You need to not panic. Take a moment and just know that God, um, he is like the greatest safety net you've ever encountered. He is the ultimate safety net. He is holding you, your situations, your family, your business, everything about you. It says here that in him, all things hold together. So church, be encouraged today with that incredible truth that God's gone before you and that in him all things hold together. And I want to encourage you, maybe for the next seven days, make that your declaration before you get out of bed, before you leave for work, start your day and just make the declaration, God, you've gone before me and God, today you are holding all things together. That is my prayer for you. Church, I love you and I'll see you real soon.